Last Friday, I went to Macau to see how many people needed our help. Our first stop was a beautiful lady called Margarita, and she is by herself and taking care of two other people by herself. I think the husband has Alzheimer, and I know the other person that she takes care it also has a mental illness. Yo traigo aquí en esta comunidad a través de la iglesia de una iglesia pentecostal mm -hmm. que es de Guaynabo, pero ah, por cierto, a esa iglesia se le fue el techo. Y esa ha sido una de las iglesias que ha dado tanto a esta comunidad porque dio ropa, dio comida, ha hecho actividades para, para la comunidad. ¿De dónde traen los operadores? ¿De dónde están? ¿De están cuando hace viento? Mira, se abran y se, como digo yo, y una calle allá. Eso que debe quedar viento, da cantazo, va y viene, va y viene, va y viene. La plantita mía se dañó, que está allí. Ellos quedaron entrando una planta tampoco. So basically, what Margarita is saying that there's a program from the government, it's called Hogar Renace or Reborn House. They're supposed to help out people. Basically, they get the people that need help to rebuild their houses. They get them together with people that can provide the service. But there's so many complaints about that program. I don't know what's going on with, with the government and that program, but For me, it feels like a scam because they're, they're just not doing the work they're supposed to do, so. Please meet Ismael. Ismael, it's, uh, it looks like he's having a really rough time. It's been going through gas generator like you would go through milk. Just buy one and get rid of it because they just get damaged. They don't have a big pension or a big social security check. It's just whenever they can't get gas, they do it. And the generators they might get is because he has a son that actually fix them. So this is another case. He lost everything on his house. They used to live on the second floor. Now they're living on the first floor. And if it weren't for that, he wouldn't have anything. Another special case is just right across Ismail house. Her name is Bienvenida. Um, she's by herself most of the time. The lady that is was with her, I think it's uh, a medical personnel that cleans the house, cooks some food, uh, helped her during the day. But the most sad part is that Her sons and daughters, they just come and visit now and then. They don't take care of her. She's starting with Alzheimer, and you can see in her eyes that she's like super sad. She, she just had it. She's tired, you know, so. Let's, let me just show you the next case. You get to explain by yourself. Yeah. Luz. Luz. Eso es lo que yo quiero. Luz. Porque yo tengo un niño que es especial. Y todos los días se levanta con la luz que hay luz. Y me pide, mami, préndeme la televisión. Mami, préndeme el radio. Y a mí se me, a mí se me llenan los ojos de lágrimas sí. poder no, no ayudarlo. Sí. Y llevamos ya para ocho meses sin luz. Y ya no podemos más. 
Y el gasto de gasolina. El gasto de gasolina, gasto de hielo. Yo compro dos y tres bolsas de hielo al día. Gasolina todos los días. Es fuerte lo que estamos pasando. Y yo llamé para hogar, 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 una de un hogar y quedaron de ayudarnos, pero no han llamado ni nada. Se pasa uno llamando y es nada, nada. ¿Cuál era su nombre? Miriam. Miriam. No es algo. Ah, noche. No oye. ¿Qué es? 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 ¿Qué él conoce a Raymond, fanático de las caminatas de Raymond. Yo sé que el corazón de la gente de Telemundo es bien grande. Y yo sé que ellos caben. ¿Quieres, ¿Quieres decirle algo a Raymond? Sí, sí. Y la Pedro, te dan un beso en sabor en Nardén. <risa> Raymond, un beso para ti. De parte, ¿Cuál es el nombre de él? De parte de Jun. Fanático tuyo, Raymond. What you guys are about to see, it's uh, overwhelming. No one should live like this. Bueno, mi nombre es Radame Santana Morales, candelero arriba aquí a la orden. Llevo ocho meses en esta, gastando las patas aquí porque no puedo caminar bien. I know there's a lot of poverty in, in my island, but when you see it, it, it breaks your heart, you know, it's... It needs more than solar energy. He doesn't have a bathroom, like a proper bathroom. He doesn't have a kitchen. The little stove he has is like full of grease and oil. Um, he doesn't even have a toilet. He, he told me that he literally has like a little hole he dig up by himself and just put a toilet over there and that's how he goes on his business. I can continue showing you more cases. For example, this lady needs a way to keep her meds cold. So, because she's starting with an issue of glaucoma. We got stopped in the middle of the street by many, many people asking for help. This old man needs help. He's by himself. He has like a condition on his eyes. They look like the eyes from a cat. And he was cleaning up the yard by himself. He can barely talk or walk. These ladies, they need help. They cannot keep on spending money on the gas. They have their own health conditions. This old couple also need help. They're by themselves and they are past their 80s. 
So I think you get the point. I cannot go to sleep every day knowing that that people it's waiting. They, they at least got a little bit of hope when I got there. So this is me asking, please, when you like and share the video, someone in your network might see it. Especially when you share it on Facebook, when you share that video on Twitter, someone might see it. Something that Jehu told me a few weeks back is that you only need one person from the New York Times or any other network to see the videos to actually get the help Puerto Rico needs. I don't rely on government. I don't have a foundation. I'm not even registered. I'm doing this because I have to. This is the mission God put in my hands, but I cannot do it by myself. I'm tired, but I'm doing this because I love my people. I love humans. I love my brothers and sisters, not only in Puerto Rico, but all around the world. I'll be out there helping people. But right now I'm here and I can do something and I'm begging, I'm literally begging, please help. We have links in the descriptions for the GoFundMe. We have links for PayPal. And I also have a Patreon. These people will be really grateful for any help that you can send. Thank you for watching. I hope you liked the video. God bless you all. And I'll see you in the next one.